So my name is Bonnie and my role is the Community Development Manager for the Bosland District Community Trust. Back in 2020 with the first lockdown, the Martin Food Bank were quite overwhelmed with the response from the community requiring food. From that, they realised there were quite a few people coming from Bulls needing assistance while they were off work. Conversations were started before I started in my role within the community. They were working on a neutral location that would be suitable for everybody. And then I came in 2020 in November and started conversations with the St James Presbyterian Church on using the, the current premises where we work out of. They have kindly donated, allowed us to use this space as a way of giving back to the community. I'm St Janet Jacobs, uh, I live in Bulls. Been here for about 23 years and my role is a volunteer. I just help out um, fortnightly with the other volunteers. The concept is zero food waste, so whichever products that they can get out every week, just try and help the community out. So I uh, talked to a few of my friends and we were all for it. There's a huge stigma about food pantries and only poor people should come to it and, you know, or disadvantage or poverty, but it's not about that. Once Bonnie had kind of let us know this is what it's about, it's about zero food waste and we have all these um, sponsors that want to help out. So, and we talked to our families and friends and they said, oh look, say if I needed to go there, I would go because you're there. A lot of the people don't want to be seen or anything and this is all confidential, this is all private, so nobody knows who comes here and I think once that people slowly started coming and seeing that it's just about helping everybody out, then everyone comes. When we first started, it was very quiet. And then once Bonnie got more information out to people, and then as the environment of the country changed, really, the needs seemed to increase. I feel each time I, I come here every fortnight, the numbers are getting more. So whether that's people realising that we're available or they are needing that extra helping hand, really, isn't it? The food we've got has to go. Take it, please take it. It's there for a reason. Take the food off our hands, please. Some people come in and they're nervous, they're anxious of coming in. They don't want to be here, they don't want to be seen. And that's why it was really important to have a location that was neutral, off the main road, so people felt that they could come in and not feel judged or be seen by someone driving past. I think we're too shy to say we need help. But I think if you get a friendly face, or somebody that just makes you feel comfortable. And, and that's what we have. We have a lot of people come here now because they said, oh, I feel really comfortable. Or especially with our friends um, or different ones that know us. They will come now because they know who we are, which is a good thing. And they know that it's all 100% confidential, so you don't have to worry about that. Community doesn't know whether you've got free food or not, you know? So, um, We've got stuff here that needs to go out the door, so come and take it. <laughs>